That was intense. Okay, Meister. Help me out here. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! What are you cutting off? My lord, you should not be awake. The milk of a puppy. Drink. Come now. Okay, then. That's it. Roderick! My lady! I am at a very delicate moment in the sea. Mom! Please, I want to see my son. <laughs> Sir, my lady, I must insist that you leave. No. Roderick, what have they done to you? These wounds How many... have killed any other man. What As limbs do I have left? Never walk again. Roderick? What's wrong with him? He drank the milk of the poppy. Please don't leave me. Not yet. <laughs> I'll be back. Okay, so I'll be a cripple, but I can still pass out judgments, right? Talia? Do I have both my arms? Both my legs? Okay, both arms. And both legs! Well. Oh. Hey. Hey, sis. That one before. It's nice. Roderick, thank the gods. Brother, I thought oh, I lost you. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. Are you all right? You're stronger than when I left. Two years is a long time. How bad is it? I don't know. Do I have my leg? Mr. I do. Tengren says your leg may never fully heal. Ah, it's a limb. I can still walk. And right, I can face. still walk. <laughs> I, I don't look good. Oh, you're telling me I don't look good. <laughs> I wouldn't dare. <laughs> some some people like scars. Scars are cool. Roderick, something you need to know. Oh, here he comes. Oh, this guy suck. Dead. Ethan. Bruce Bolton's bastard came here and threatened to take me away. Ethan demanded he let me go. And that monster put a blade through his throat. Like it was nothing. Ethan. How could this happen to him? I can't believe he's gone. Me neither. We're planning to honor Ethan in the grove. Alongside father. And now mother wants me to write this song for the funeral. I can't. You can, Talia. I know you can. You'd honor him. What the fuck? Ah, oh, the Whitehall man. It's been chaos here since he died. We have White Hill soldiers stationed in a White Hill. Guard. Even the small folk don't feel safe. You need to show everyone who this house belongs to. They need a lord. You're still a hero to them. If you lead, others will follow. I know hmm. you still need time to heal. I'll but be fine, Talia. Council's meeting in the Great Hall right now, actually. Nobody expects you there, but if you think you're ready... I want to go. Can you even stand? They could use I don't know. But if you're not ready... Only one way to find out. Here we go. Uh. 
Oh, this is gonna be painful. I missed you, brother. You can do this, Roderick. Well, I can't do I it with can. I can't do it with willpower alone. That was the easy part. Patrick. Fuck me. I'm fine. Uh, anyone have a crutch? Or something? Why'd you do that? I won't let anyone see you like this. Not when the house appears so weak already. I was rolled in on a corpse can. The damage is done. But you're the lord of the house now. You must appear strong, solid. You can't do that on the floor. Whoa, it's a long girl. Way to the great hall. We can't risk you falling where others can see. Take my hand. Let me help you. There's no shame in allies. No matter how strong you, you are, no matter how strong you are, allies can always make you stronger. That's it. Especially family. Ah, she's such a sweet sister. Everyone will be so glad to see you up. Though. I think you'll find that much has changed. Well, let's unchange them. <coughs> the wall. Garrett Tuttle, the man who, could, who couldn't keep his mouth shut. I have. A few things here, some wrappings, an amulet from my sister, and some herbs. There it goes. Castle Black. So this is the seat of the night. A bunch of murderers and thieves. Well, they have a new life now. People can change. And they are doing a honorable duty, you even horse, if uh, another one for Frostfinger. On a horse no less. Even if it doesn't look like it. Actually, they have one of the most important tasks in the uh, whole of Westeros. But it has been forgotten, and it sucks. What's up with all these artifacts in the in the uh, in the game? It's strange. Is it some graphical glitch, or uh, is it supposed to look like that? Looks I don't know. Like it was built by giants, doesn't it? You're new here to take the black. Because you got that look about you. Aye, I am. Thought so. I'm new here myself. Frost. Okay Finger. then. He's the one you want. Handles all new recruits. Which one's Frostfinger? That grizzled old prune over there. Ah, oh, cool. Those new recruits are all dead men. But don't let him scare you. <laughs> That's just his way. You seem nice. That's. Not so good round here. Not too many nobles around here, I'm guessing. I'm gonna check the options real quick. Bam, 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 settings. Audio, video. Wow. Uh, kind of lackluster uh, <laughs> options menu. Graphics, bam. 
Okay. Well then, let's go back and just play the game. Wow. Epic. Epic menu. Sparring crows. You fight like a girl. A wildling girl, maybe. <laughs> Wildlings. Teach him a lesson. Oh, I'll teach him. Not quite. <laughs> Okay, there's stairs. Barrels! What's in these barrels? It's pitch. Dump it off the wall and it'll burn the wildlings down to their fucking bones. Yeah, I liked how they depic depicted the wall in the TV series. It's it's quite, huh. quite well done. It's warm. Okay, here we go. Our new life. Frost fingers. Yeah, he lost two fingers. Oh man, this guy is awesome. I can already tell. <coughs> Sir. You recruit. You come. You train. You fight. You die. That's why we're here. You, boy. I'm Garrett Tuttle, nephew to Duncan Tuttle, Castellan of Ironrath. Garrett Tuttle of Ironrath? And how does a Castellan's nephew get himself sent to the wall? You're a thief. A raper. You abandon your post. I killed the men who murdered my family. Then you know how to fight, at least. I do. And you're no liar, either. Sir? From Duncan Tuttle, Castellan ah. of House Forest. <laughs> nice. My uncle wrote to the Night's Watch. He goes on for a bit, but then he asks us to make you a ranger. As if it's a knighthood. So you see, Tuttle, I know all about you. I'm an honest man, you and it served me well. Even if you are man enough to own up to it. Yes, sir. Now then, we'll start your training in the morning. I like this guy. You need a cot and a cloak. Understood. Taking oh, orders, puzzle. not a problem. Sooner or later, the night's watch will be your death. When it comes, try to make it quick. Well, I'll try and die on my feet, standing, fighting to the very last drop. How does that sound? And last we'd heard, Asher was in Slaver's Bay. So, Malcolm caught a ship headed for... I heard they took him off a corpse cart. <laughs> and he's missing his arms and legs. White Hill men. <laughs> At least he can still eat his shit. The White Hill soldiers are drunk again. And we have too few men to handle them. Oh, such a bad position to be in. Okay. We need to pick our battles. We can't fight while we're weak. Well, I say he's dead. And they've dressed up some peasant in his place. Fill me up, would you? And bring you some salted pork while you're at it. <laughs> Fill yourself up, you lazy fuck. Is that him? Has to be, doesn't it? He's hideous. <laughs> You're hideous. Had a run in with Walder Frey, did you? And he's leaning on a girl. Well, Should have buried him with the corpses. Forrest is Real cursed. shame about your leg, oh, Lord. Give the toss. Don't let go of your sister now. <laughs> oh, I don't care about what you guys say. You'll be my enemy for generations. So why do I care? Is this Griff? We have business in the Great Hall. <laughs> Go right. Move aside, soldier. I'm quite comfortable, thank you. And I don't think you are gonna make me. Let's let's pick our battles here. 
Are those... I wonder what's weaker. Your legs? Or this house? Are those Whitehall men? I am the lord of this house. And you will move. Whoa! Whoa! Go on. Then. Come on. My lord. I win. Yes, yeah, that's right. Go away. Choo choo. <sighs> Let's go. I like that. I like Roderick. I really liking this so far. So many wise. cool characters. It makes us look weak. Both of you, please. So you'd rather they write? Duncan, you're a damn fool sometimes. It doesn't matter what you think. I was chosen as sentinel. My Whoa. lord. Let's... Man, those scars make him look oh. badass. And a beard. I mean, this guy is so cool. All these cool guys with scars and beards, Come, I can't please. take it. So many of them. Bam! So cool. Lady Talia, you should have told us the Lord needed help. I don't mind getting helped by women. They can be just as strong as men. If not stronger. It's good to see you awake, Lord Roderick. We didn't expect you so soon. The Maester said it would be weeks before you were walking, if you walked again at all. It was highly probable. Well, I, I am but only you barely. Be up and about. You call this walking? I can barely stand. Well, you're here at least. And a good thing, too. Indeed it is. Dali has told me the state of our house. And you know our situation is grim, my lord. No thanks to your sentinel. He's been Whoa. keeping the White Hill soldiers drunk. It keeps them off their guard. They That's think true. You're a bloody fool. My lord, please. Oh, oh, I'm a fool. At least I was there by Ethan's side when Ramsay stole. I've told you. I was keeping an eye on the Bolton soldiers. You should have been protecting your lord. Now How about we stop yelling? And Brian a hostage. And what have you done to get him back? Nothing. Because we have no army. I am your lord. Of course. Apologies, my lord. The White Hills have my brother. We fight amongst ourselves, but we should be fighting them. We need oh, I an love army this guy. to win that fight. If we don't have one, not anymore. Summon our allies, then. I'm afraid we have none left, my lord. We've heard little from the Glovers since the Ironborn took deep mm. not. Halsey's Helliver, Grayson, and Brown Barrow were all slaughtered at the Twins. And the rest of our allies are terrified of the Boltons. You forget the Glenmores. Glenmores? You'd be wed to Elena Glenmore already, if not for the war. And her father is no coward. Oh, now that you've returned, okay. the marriage can proceed as planned. The marriage? Well, much has changed. The Glenmores may no longer desire the union. Lady Elena will decide for herself. I'm a cool guy with scars. What's on her way here as we speak? Lady Elena. She is? She's coming now. Why is she coming here? She means to pay her respects to your father. But it could also be a chance to solidify our arrangement. That's good. If she still wishes to marry, we'd have the allies we so desperately need. Their army would become oathbound to Roderick. We could burn High Point to the fucking ground. Yes, this mm. marriage could be our chance. I like course, how you we think. Must hope Lady Elena still wants to marry Roderick. We're talking about a marriage, not an Ironwood contract. I'm certain I can convince her. She's always been fond of you. Just be careful not to push Elena too hard. If Elena yeah, I'll to use life, my charm. She'll see those soldiers in the courtyard. We starve them out, and they'll have to leave. I'd rather they be lying around drunk than setting the stables on fire. My lord, perhaps you could put an end to this tiresome dispute. Keep them drunk. Keep them drunk. It's better than inciting them to violence. Yes, my lord. Sorry, Roderick. Well, there's nothing more to discuss. I mean... What? What's his name again? Maester. The aggressive guy? 
It's time to light the ironwood torches. Yes, my lady. Ironwood Welcome torches? Back, my lord. It's got to be back. Oh, that's beautiful. Gregor last lit these torches when his mother passed. Ironwood doesn't burn easily, he told me. But foresters have a way. And now we light them for him. And Ethan. They How both died as heroes. Me? Ethan always helped me with music. It's not the same without him. I can help you with it. That's all right. The last time you sang, all the dogs in the kennel started howling. Well tried. Thank you. Everyone knows how much Ethan meant to you. I'm sure it will honor him well. Hopefully, Elena isn't Above so Elena, superficial. I've sent a letter to Mira. The Tyrells hold much influence over the Glenmores. I don't know where things stand between her and Lady. Okay, stop. I try, I'm trying to complete a sentence, but the story just keeps on going. Hopefully, uh, Elena isn't as... isn't very superficial. I mean, Roderick is still a handsome guy, even with a scar. And if that puts her off, I mean, he's a noble man. He's a cool guy who wants to do what's right. So I'm hoping she can see that. Marjorie, but maybe your sister can find a way to help. Okay, Mira. It's kind of funny. Last time I played episode one, I think I did the best in court, even though it's entirely that ridiculous. isn't my it's thing. The flowers, it's the food or the table settings. Is that the letter to the orphanage? Yes, my lady. It's nearly done. Make sure to tell them we'll send all the leftovers. Ah. And. Mm, something nice after that. Lady Marjorie <laughs> intends to visit again very soon. Lovely. They'll be pleased to hear that. Because that's what she does in the book. Uh, Marjorie in the book is, first of all, she's much younger than she is in this, uh, in, in the TV series. I think she's like 15 or 16. I'm not too sure about that, but but that's an overall theme when it comes to the TV series and the books. That in the books, everyone, Jon Snow, Rob Stark, Bran Stark, everyone is a couple of years younger in the books. And I can understand why they didn't do make them that young, young, that young in the TV series. Because, you know, they had to have good actors playing them. Uh, but everyone is younger. And Marjorie Terrell, uh, she's more childlike in the books than she is in the TV series. She's a very gentle girl. Uh, how much of that is an act? Well, we don't know really. I mean, it's King's Landing. But outward, outwards, she's a very nice girl. And the seal. Here you are. Oh, are there any more invitations to send, or are we finally done with the cursed things? One more. An invitation to Sir Maynard. Ah, yes. One of my father's favorite drinking companions. Is it the cold boy again? I have a letter it is. from Lady Mira Forrester. Thank you. My pleasure, Lady Mira. I think I can trust this guy. I won't be surprised if it, he's Laura? one of Varys's little from birds. Mother. She asked that I help ensure Roderick's betrothal to Elena Glenmore remain intact. How can you do that from a thousand leagues away? Ah. Hello. That's my help she's after, isn't it? Maybe. She's a bold woman. Most would shy away from asking such things. Forgive my mother. 
She doesn't see the harm in what she does. She's not entirely wrong. A letter from me could encourage the Glenmores to honor the betrothal. But it wouldn't be very discreet you'd be forcing their hand. That isn't the way I do things. That's true. You pushed me before and you saw the results. I'm sure your brother can secure the marriage on his own. Yeah. I think he's charming enough. I he can do this. Going. Mira, we'll talk more later. And no, I'm not gonna grab that freaking seal thingy. They keep putting it into perspective. Like, take this thing. No, I'm not gonna take anything. Why would I do that? Well, I know why I would do it, but I won't. No. No. Nope. Nope. I'm sorry. If Lady Marjorie wrote a letter. Uh, I've, Roderick, you can do this. I'm sorry, Roderick. Sir Maynard, you are hereby invited.